Kabuto Mushi, the famous helmet beetle of Japan and Taiwan. If you remember, I put uh, some pupas and artificial pupal cells in these boxes here two weeks ago, exactly two weeks. And uh, because it said that they come out of the pupal skin around 19 to 22 days after they pupated, so I will have a look today uh, whether some of these pupas have already hatched or not. And as you probably know, this is the most famous uh, beetle in Asian culture also for the young people because these beetles, they happen to stage practically every Asian uh, computer game that you can imagine from Pokemon to Digimon to Sonic games. Also in Super Mario, they exist and of course in the Moshi King game where the Beatles fight against each other in a computer game. So, let's see what happened here. If you want to go and have a look later in the German playlist about the same Beatle, you just uh, look in my in my channel, you will find this playlist. It's written through Boxilus or the Allo Murina Dichotomo German playlist. Yeah, the story about the name of the Beatle, the, the scientific name of the Beatle is a little bit disturbing. Uh, now, at the moment, the fact is we call them Trypoxilus, Dichotomus, and this us at the end, it is from Latin, it's a, a male name. Trypoxilus is male, and then Dichotomus is also with this us at the end, it means it's a male name. And uh, earlier it was called Allomurina Dichotoma, so this Allomurina with the A at the end, this is a female name, so that's why it's not said Allomurina Dichotomus, because it's a female, it's called Allomurina Dichotoma, and so on. I also had a problem with the name from for Taiwan, in Latin, Tuno Bosonis is the Latin name for, for Taiwan, but in some um, books it's written Tuno Bosonus, so, it's probably easy to say, just Kabuto Mushi, everybody remembers it. Now have a look. Uh, I also have prepared, of course, some boxes. If I find already adults, I will present them a beetle jelly, some fresh melon, and a place where they can uh, meet each other and mate if they already are active. So, let's have a look. Here, I have written that there or three male pupas and now let's have a look it seems if you look at it just from outside you see there's a hole here that's a hole here and I also think it could be a hole here so we will see whether they already came out here and then we have a closer look at them if they did if they are just on their way to a closure we won't disturb them anymore, just leave them in there and just have a small, a short look, look under, the, under the camp. So this is already out now. It looks uh, already pretty good and completed. It's interesting that it was head down in this little box, so look at him. He's pretty active already here. He want to go away. So we probably better put him on a slice of fresh melon, so he will stay there and and give us some time to have a nice view of him. So that's it. It's it's a small one. They can be much bigger. This is really a miniature, but although it's small, it has a really nice a uh, horn, and the Hotoma means. Uh, it's a double a double forked Dichotomo. So that's the that's the famous beetle from Japan and Asia. So we already have one nice male, so let's have a look to the other two that are still waiting here. This is a double box that I wanna open also in that way and look have a look what happened to them. So ha look here. One of them look to the top and the other one um, to the bottom of this little uh, peat pot so we take them out and have a look at them also so 
Ya, 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 This one is a nice here. Nice one, so he can, if he wants, he can dig down into the substrate. And if he likes, it seems so, he can eat some of this nice beetle jelly. And of course, because they are, there are beetles that like humid surroundings, that's good to give them a spray of water. So we have another one here. So what's happening with this one? He's also head down in the peat pot and look. Aha, uh -huh, he wanted probably to dig down deeper into the to the substrate or deeper into the to the ground. Now so let's see what he's up what he's doing yet. Yeah, come on, horses. Alright. Come here. Uh, okay. It's, a, it's the same size as the other one. It's also a small one, but remember for um, as m um, to making a sustainable breeding process, you don't need the big animals to do that. I mean, it's better to have big females because they lay more eggs than small ones, but for the males, it's also okay to have small males. That's not a problem for the breeding process. So what we've seen here, already three nice males. And of course, also the other ones, I put um, each one now into of one of these uh, nice boxes. I just take this man here. Don't put two together because they fight against each other. That's why they have such a brown, pronounced horn. So don't stress them by putting two males together. Because not only they lose a lot of energy to fight, but they lose a... It's like in the computer games, they have this... This uh, thing, this from green to red, where your life... You know, look how much life you have. So they lose a lot of this life power if they fight against each other. And if not, they can live for three to four months without any problem. And just that would be nice also, if you want to keep them for a breeding process and breeding them on them. So, now let's see. That is, is nice. All three males already came out. You don't have to be afraid that they fly away in this early stage after they just came out of their uh, poopoo -poo skin. They can't fly away. Also, it's a little bit too cool here. So. Now, we have 12 more poopos here. I think I open probably one of these box now here in this in this uh, English channel and then we move on to see the other 12 in the German uh, playlist so what we can see here from the top already is that there's a male waiting here already that I take him away yeah. that's it he came out probably what of out of this pupil artificial purple peat pot cell so I try to put present him a little melon so sometimes we can calm them down with a nice fruit like this one yeah I think we can, he's really, he's now very easy. Uh, so what we have to do here, we just uh, have a look what happened inside and if we find there are still poopos, we leave them, oh no, look this, now these are the bigger males here, now this is a freshly, this is pretty fresh now, I think we leave this one in his in his piece reddish, you see, like 
maroon red, so he will leave him in here. He wants also probably to dig down, that's why they go down. He has also a piece of, uh, of, of the, of the purple skin on the horn here, so that, that's what we, he will put away, of course, like this. And he wants to run away, so we don't stress him anymore, just put him back into this, into this nice, uh, oops, <laughs> and uh, this man here, but this we want to show you in detail, oh, if he's not running away yet, because he's pretty fast now, let's see what they're doing here, let's see whether I can show him, I show it to you, now this one I put in another small box, see like this one here, so he can dive down there, this one wants, wants to go away. Now here you see him. Now this is bigger, it's a bigger one than the others, so let's see. But uh, because I don't like the, yeah, now he's already performing his fight attack program. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I think this one won't stay calm here. He's a real fighter. And that's what they are, what they are thought to be. This is too fast even for this camera as you can't keep him quiet. So. And of course it's also not easy to, to keep, uh, hold them. You have to hold them at the first, at the horn on the pronotum. So if you keep it like that, he can't reach it. He, he can't reach you with his arm. If you hold him with the other horn, he will he will probably um, take you with the other horn, but from this side he cannot uh, keep... but he, he can squeak. You hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of this beetle. So, I think Oh, here is already one. Now we put him to this nice place here. That's his solo room here with a slice of nice um, melon too. So what we have, we already have five males now. So we need about. I would I would try to put the two females in each box with one male, so that would be a uh, good thing, so you can uh, try to leave them in here for the next two weeks and hope that they mate in here and then you can um, prepare the breeding boxes for them and then to transfer them to the breeding boxes. So what, what, what I need more is, is another box for this other male that we have here. This one, this is the, uh, a small buddy, but this has also his own box here. And also it's a piece of melon, and of course this beetle jelly is important for them, so they can't dry out if you forget to present them some water, or it's not humid enough, they can go to the beetle jelly that consists of 99% of water. They can probably, yes, they practically drink from that also. So, that's it. Uh, now, we wanted to go a little bit deeper into that, into that box and see whether we find a female here also. But you know, look here, that this is one uh, pupa still in the box, but two of them are empty. So what we have to do, I think if the females come out, they dig down and then we have to dig them up in the substrate, so that's what we want to do then. I see one here, but I don't know whether it's a male or a female. Let's see, this seems to be a male. Yeah, it is. It's full of sand. So we put him to... Now let's see whether... No, he doesn't like it, even it's a water, if it's a watermelon. Even with the watermelon, he can't stay quiet. He wants to go away, so... So that's his program, we can't change him, just put him for the next two minutes in another box, so, 
and then let's go on looking for these are two female pupas we take them out and one male look the males are earlier than the females that's interesting they're also here we have a male that's interesting to see that the males they are faster coming out than the females so what we have here we have oh this is a little accident so it's a poop ball with head down and of course but look she's uh, living that's not a problem so we will just she's just um, she's living and active and she's not far away from uh, so a bit clear what I mean she's not far away from coming out because you already see in the in a good light you can already see that the the legs are shining through the half transparent skin of this of this pupa. So we just put this lady back to one of these peat pots, cover her with that and then with the other with the other four, three females that we have in the form of a pupa, we will um, let them sit here in this box and let's see for, uh, for the other animal. Here's another male. I put him into this box here. With an, and I think we should have more, one more. So let's see where we find it. Yeah, here it is. It's also a male. So they're all the males have come out already and the females not yet. So let's put the females back now to this box. Where we have now four females and we cover them as we did with the other ones. And now I think we wait for another um yeah, two weeks. And then it's probably time also for them to emerge from their purple skin. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching. Subscribe to my channel. You get a message every time I, load, I, I, I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.